Well, you lot, we are looking at this Sebo Professional G1, and also around the corner there, we've got um, a Bissell, I forget what it's called, the other, yeah, whatever. And uh, the idea is, I'm going to see how clean I can get this carpet in here. It gets dirty on this carpet because where I come in from the outside and I just come in here in the winter um, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get like a mat here so I can take my shoes off before I come in here but I want to change this carpet anyway but it's dirty and it's been bugging me because I haven't been able to get a new carpet to change it with so I thought well let's see how clean we can get it so I've got my, C, I've got my G1 this is I use this every now and again indoors this one doesn't really come anywhere else it, so this is a uh, you know it's got a fresh bag in it and things this um, what is this one clean view pro heat so this is the one I use um, this isn't the one I use indoors this is another one uh, it needs a bit of a clean it's quite dirty I don't clean it after every time that I um, use it in fact there was one I went to go and clean so someone got word that I had a carpet cleaner and they said can I go and clean their carpet so I said all right when I got there well the water that was coming out of this was like sludge you know so it needs a good old clean but it'll do the job for now it's got the brushes underneath I filled it up with car hot carpet um, shampoo good stuff so we'll give it a good old vacuum with the G1 and then we'll give it a clean and see how clean we can get this carpet so it's mainly I don't think it's all going to come off because some of the stains are oil um, where I've been cleaning um, been out there messing around with something oily and I've got a bit on the wall as well, so I'm going to repaint it at some point. Paint the walls. Which is I've got that on there, but there you go. Anyway, let's see how clean we can get the carpet. So, as I wouldn't have expected, the, just the vacuuming didn't really do a lot. Um, I do vacuum in here, and with, just with a Henry, every two or three days, just when I clean up outside there, I tend to just put the floor head on and, and uh, bring it in here, and give it a run around, because I do end up with a lot of, you know, wiring, stray bits of off-cut wire and solder and things make their way onto the floor in here. So... I do vacuum in here, so I didn't expect anything to happen, but I wanted to use the SIBO in here just to get up any of that fine grit that might be in the in the in the carpet. I need to get a new door step there to keep that down because um that broke a long time ago and it doesn't doesn't keep the carpet doesn't keep the carpet down very well. Put the old C B on there. Put the old C B on there. Anyway, let's go and get the uh the old Bissell on the job and see how much of all this dirt we can get out. I'm hoping it will get out quite a bit because I don't think I'm going to be able to get any more carpet anytime soon to replace this with. I wanted to get quite a nice thick pile carpet because this carpet, I'm hoping it might bring the pile up a bit giving it a wash, but it's not particularly thick, you know. I want a nice thick pile carpet, you know, it's put in here with some better underlay. There is a bit of underlay under here, not, you know, it's really thin stuff. I want some nice thick underlay and a nice thick pile carpet and I'm going to get myself a mat on the outside. It's alright in the summer but in the winter I do take my shoes off when I come in here but not every single time and uh, yeah. Anyway let's get to the job shall we?
I've been playing around with a wire, 20 meter long wire as well. I got this one from UK Antennas. I was trying to work it out, see if I can get it to work all right in this small space. Anyway, let's see what we got in here. Let's see what we caught. There's quite a bit of sand in there, look at that. All that grit. <laughs> Got all that. Nasty. <laughs> Probably have to do that. Do that a couple of times, I should think. Got the old Robert's radio over there. The old deck chair. Sitting out relaxing. So there we go, that was about, well that was one whole tank of water, I didn't want to go too mad on it because like I said you know it is, it's not actual carpet as such, but it is carpet but you know, it's uh, old, very old and uh, you know, it's got it's an oil stain there that might come out, um, looks like I didn't quite vacuum right up to the edge there look, but anyway it did do quite a good job. These here, this is oil, oil stain, oil stain here. Didn't expect these to come out, oil stains they are. Um, you know, it's a shame. But when I eventually get my new bit of carpet in here, because it'd be quite easy to find an off cut, you know, it's just a rectangle room like that. It's got to be a little bit wider here. I'm going to get a new door step when I get that, so it holds that down properly. Um, it's got all the wadrum and called it things around the edge to hold the carpet in and everything. So. When I eventually do do that, what I usually do is usually see people get off cuts, you know, and they throw them out, and I drive past and I see them. Um, so next time I see a nice bit that I like, I'll be taking it and having it in here. Lovely. <laughs> but I think it's done quite a good job, that Bizzle, considering. It certainly smells nice in here now. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to do it, you know, apart from how it looks, but also when you open the door and you come in here and you open the door especially as the weather's getting warmer you know when there's a dirty carpet in the room and you can smell the dirty carpet um, it's not a, a bad smell as in like but it's just you know the smell is the dirty carpet don't you um, some of you will know what I mean some of you probably might just think what the hell are you talking about but if you've got a room that smells and there's a carpet in there a lot of the time it will be the carpet that smells if you clean the carpet the smell will go away because when you think about it, the carpet takes all the dirt, doesn't it? Anyway, enough of that. Lovely job. Let's go and see what else we can play with. Well, uh, I swapped microphones with a friend of mine. Um, he wanted to borrow one of my Kenwood microphones for his Kenwood. And, um, you know, I wanted to try one of the different Icon ones. I've not, tried, I've not had one of these Icon SM20 ones before. And he said, oh, I've got one of them. You can borrow that. We'll do a swap. I said, all right. So... Yes, what we got, I've got a little, I've got that, um, or, but I've got one on my other mic, you see, I've got a dead kitten one, um, so, this is the one I had on the Kenwood, and I took it off because I noticed the one he swapped with me ain't got one, see, so, I stick that on there, or I might use this dead kitten, but this dead kitten I've got on one of my other mic microphones, you see, that I use for two meters, so, I'm not sure, I'd rather have that on there, it looks better. But I've only got one of them, so that one can go on there like that. That's uh, that'll be on there like that. Yeah, sweet. Got a little bit of dust on it. I'm going to give it a clean up, and then we'll plug it in and see if I can make a contact, perhaps on 40 meters or 20 meters, and see uh, the difference. He reckons this is going to be the nuts. He reckons this microphone will go well with my radio, which it might well do, because I think it's designed to go with it anyway. So sweet. <laughs> Love it. There we go, gave it a good old clean with a bit of um, a, bit of a good old clean with a paintbrush to get all the dust out of the little nooks and crannies around the switches. And then I um, went with a wet wipe to get some of the uh, you know dirt because uh, there is general dirt that builds up on the switches and things from people's hands, you know, grease and whatever. Um, I've only borrowed this microphone, but you know I like to clean things up make things look nice and clean again when I gave the Kenwood to me mate he says bloody hell it's brand new I said no it ain't it's 10 or so years old or more I just clean it up really well 
then I went over it with a bit of Mr. Muscle. Mr. Muscle, you know, polish. A lot of people say, never polish your radios or any radio equipment. Never polish them, never ever polish them. But why not, man? They're made out of just the same material as anything else would be in your, ha in your home, you know. So as long as you don't get the polish in the little nooks in between the switches, or if you're on a radio, don't get it like in the grooves of the, so it goes in inside the radio. Um, I, I usually spray it on the on the duster, spray the polish on the duster, and then polish it like that. Yeah, that's what I usually do. So yeah, oh, I'm well happy with that. I might change if I can go and find another dead kitten because they look much better than these little foam muff things, the little dead kittens. So I'm going to see if I can get another one. I think I bought two when I bought the other one. So there'll be another one, you know, around somewhere. Sweet. Well pleased, man. Well pleased. Love it. And I've just had a chat with someone, and they said it sounds all right, but the person I had a chat with don't really care about audio quality, so, um, you know, he's not going to say whether it's good or whatever. But brilliant. Well happy. Well, you lot, it's the next morning now. I'm having a look around on the various places. There ain't a lot going on really. I've been skipping around. But, you know, if you are, let me let, let me let you know, you know, let me uh, invite you lot as such. If you're on the radio, if you go on any kind of radio, it can be on any band that I can go on. We'll have a chat, man. Whether it be on two meters, whether it be on the triple five around that sort of area. Whether it be on ordinary CB, any channel. If you're a local, or even if you're not local, you know, send me a message or a comment and say, look, I'm on air now, and we can try and have a chat. Because that's all good fun and games, isn't it? And that's the whole point of radio, trying to make it, trying to make contact. There's a few of you subscribers who I have spoken to, and I do speak to, on the radio. So, yeah, love it. Anyway, I'm going to go now, because I've got other stuff to do. It's the morning of the next day, of when you just saw. It's about... Six o'clock, I think, roughly. No, I ain't. I lied. Bloody hell, time's gone on quick. 7.25. Woohoo! Boy! <laughs> See you on the next one, dudes. Take care, will you?